RDZ 2014-07, add an Ed and Evelyn Lund, 4701 Knights Ferry Road, EA to PDR. Mr. David. Yes, sir. Um, PDR is not a zoning district we see very often. What it stands for is rural plan development, where we find something that needs to be site specific and we need to basically tie it to a site plan. With that, that's what Mr. Lund and his wife are requesting. They want to go to a place to where um, they can have basically an event facility which they've been using and operating been successful at they want to make it I think a more legitimate business and so this rezoning case is certainly a part of that it's gone through staff and the Planning Commission but both of us recommended for approval with three conditions the applicant is aware of those conditions the Planning Commission said he was willing to accept those conditions and so those votes we carry forward to you and I for your consideration tomorrow I can tell you that uh, I have gotten a site plan in um, for Mr. Lund on Friday that we've been communicating about <coughs> I'm not so sure we're not just going to use the site plan we already have in our packet. I think it's a better site plan, but I'm going to double check that to be sure. But other than a change in the site plan, that's all the updates I have on this one. Otherwise, we're both planning commission and staff recommending for its approval with those three conditions. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Devin? I have a question for Mr. Davenport. I just want to clarify uh, one of the proposed conditions for this property, um, condition number one. Um, essentially states that uh, it would be limited, if I'm reading this correctly, it would be limited to a uh, pecan orchard event facility and horseback, horseback riding lessons and and the applicant is completely on board with, with those conditions? Those, um, yes. Okay. We use that language in particular because that's what he's using it for now. But then condition number two gives us an umbrella to operate under with that EA zoning district mm -hmm. in the case that he does a okay. use that's outside of that. And he's already done that. And in the meantime, he's asked if he could do kind of a you pick pecan orchard thing, and, and that's allowed in EA. So we gave ourselves some flexibility with condition okay. two. But okay. condition one is so important because pecan and horseback riding lessons is allowed now. That event facility is something that's not allowed in EA. So that's the most important thing. We want to be very clear about that. Okay, thank you. My concern was I would hate to, to lock the applicant into a use that limits his ability to expand his business later on. And be Desire. Yes, and that's we tried to cover that with condition two. We had the same concern. Okay, thank you. I have a question, Mr. Chairman. Um, yes. Regarding the event facility, uh, did the applicant specify any particular types of events? Um, yes, sir. And he did. He did give us um, details, and I think probably his most common event, sir, is a wedding. He also holds maybe like retreats out there where you would have a board or a board meeting in the facility that he has. But most commonly, sir, his market is, is for weddings. Yes. Any other questions? Okay. Hearing no, 